need that kind of combo of Faceless Void and Lich to burst down. You got Sand King as well. Silencer is a big stop on a lot of these heroes. I would say that the uh, the Viper is also just because of uh, the way 747 has been playing. He has been like the linchpin of this team. Uh, Rise, especially in the support world, has been fantastic. But in terms of the cores, 747 has shown up massively Five in these games. Seconds. And when yeah. he's getting this Queen of Pain, that's when he does so well. So it's very difficult to get someone that does well against the Queen of Pain in mid other than the Puck. Mm -hmm. But if you go Puck mid with a Void, it's not that much damage to add into the Chrono. You're doubly down on control. Uh, I don't really know what final hero, if you, let's say they pick something else for Kezu and this was like a safe lane void, then you're really lacking the damage. So you just get this Viper and you try and slow down Susie. Don't let him have this big impact on the Queen of Pain. And uh, it's a good game. Whoa, this is a new one. We have not seen any Magnus. I in have the Euro seen games. one Magnus yesterday. You saw nine. one. Did and we you? did see one, and it was absolutely fantastic. Who, uh, Magnus, uh, who played it? I. I'm having trouble remembering, but it was a Magnus troll lineup. Classic. Was it off lane Magnus or mid Magnus? It off was a off lane it. Magnus. I believe it was Singularity, but don't quote me I on that. I could see one. that. That yeah, sounds. They, they have an off lane. That player. sounds right. <laughs> Who does but that? um, yeah, the Magnus did a fantastic job, paired up with uh, a nice right clicker there, exactly. and I really like this pick up here because with the silencer and the Magnus, typically you don't want to pick Magnus into these big team fight heroes because the counter initiation is so good, and you're just basically killing yourself. But with silencer there. Queen of Pain, they've got just as much team fight as the other team. Yeah. So this is pretty nice, but Danish Bears could use a nice massive right clicker. I, yeah. I think Troll would be fine here. Yeah, he's the big one that's left in the pool for sure. Um, there's still those otter ones like Slark that you sometimes see with the Magnus that sometimes don't come out, but against Faceless Void, you don't really want to be Slark. Uh, you don't necessarily want... Well, Troll's like kind of okay here, but yeah, he, he's just like the default man. So back. Jug is the other one that's left. He could. Um... Chug wouldn't be too bad. He's pretty good against PA. Sand King. Mm -hmm. Actually, is pretty good. I kind of like the PA here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna pick PA. That was a kind of a classic ace hero. Ten yeah, yeah. Remaining. That would be my my guess. I think you might be right on that one. Troll ban. And they ban the brood. Yeah, to be expected, Dyer as we were saying. Hundred percent. Don't let that come through. You know, what would be the ultimate pick here. Carry Omni Knight. <laughs> counters Sand King Lich does pretty good against Viper. Counters Void. Oh yeah, show me the position one Omni guys. I mean, think about it. They could also Life Stealer and just do um, Empowered Life Stealer with Queen of Pain. That's another good option for early aggression. Oh yeah, Life Stealer uh, actually yeah it does look pretty good here too. But I still like the PA too. Yep, that blow PA is so good with Global great. Silence too. It's just like Storm Spirit. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, I'm actually I yeah, I'm majorly down jug. with the PA. I think they're gonna take Jug. That's that's the whip. That's the middle card. It's like I'm just saying, it's like yeah. the Jug Magnus is really good. They're gonna play it safe. They really wanna beat Secret. It's a good classic, safe, reliable pick here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not wrong. I, I mean so. you pick PA and get Viper Strike and you just lose. So But I like the evasion versus Chrono. Hmm. True. Yeah, it's the PA. Oh, okay. great call. All right, Got good him. call, guys. Good call. Surprised it was not the carry on me, nine. I know. <laughs> That's <laughs> shocking. Harry really thought that would be it. Uh, so this is where we need the core Earthshaker with the new totem, right? hey -o! Kezu, right? You get the Shadow Blade, the Silver Edge, and you don't even need the Silver Edge, but in terms of like, that bonus damage Ten and stuff, seconds. isn't it? Mm -hmm. You always hit with the totem strike now, right? That is correct. Five seconds remaining. PA just dropped in that massive crit damage. That's it, Trent. You called it. What about uh, MKB heroes? They could uh, give the Kezu void and mix it up here. Let MP get a, a harder right clicker. Mm. I mean, Viper is not the worst MKB carrier. It just has to come late. They could also Bloodthorn. Or someone with just a lot of med You know, Bloodseeker. It's kind of fun. It would like totally stop fun. PA from doing anything in this game, actually. Bloodseeker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was popular. Run. He kind of fell off in the past couple of days. Is there somebody with ranged lockdown? Mm -hmm. Ranged lockdown is in like a ranged core that also has a little bit of lockdown, like a position one venge, but something. Well, I was gonna say like better. wind ranger would be kind of a fun one, but obviously it doesn't. I don't know that's like a pub pick right I here. Actually like, oh, guys, I actually kind of this. like the position one venge a little bit, but I don't think they're gonna go for it. Comes online really early though. Yeah, but they definitely need. I don't know. You don't think Viper's they can do like enough anything. range damage for you? Uh, as long as the Chain Frost and you get the, the Epi to like blink into the Chrono or the, the I uh, see immediate after follow-up with the mm -hmm. Epicenter. I want to see a... I want to see... Oh! Oh, hello! Oh. Who it is? Oh, this is the Team Secret Classic when they uh, qualified for Kiev, right? Yeah, but... Hu okay. Huskar with no save at all. No Oracle, no Wisp. Double Lich Armor. <laughs> Double Lich Armor! No, I'm not even kidding, dude. That's actually what it is. Like...
So there, there it is. It is the range PA damage. PA has form. the pure damage, though, right? Isn't this, and Quap as well, isn't this kind of a scary Huskar game? You don't have a save, and they have heroes that are pretty. <laughs> you don't even have a good, good Solar it. Crest builder either, actually. So yeah. Like, you can't give evasion. I mean, I want to see this Huskar work, but now I don't. Like, which draft do you favor here? Obviously, I Secret mean, is the, the more favorited team, but. <clears throat> I think you caught her right there. Uh, Phantom Assassin is like. The Huskar counters. He just busts in and blows his ass up. And Quap, dude, you get him down to low HP. You just fucking scream on his ass and he can't do shit. I think the the thing for Secret is they're saying they're just going to win this game or have it in such a controllable state by the third chrono that they That's just true. win. Yeah, There are um, definitely some conditions where at 15 minutes this Huskar's out of control, yeah, this, this Viper's out of control, and... Yeah, they just run down mid. But if they fail, like the first chrono, you know, maybe Kezu just dies or something. Mm -hmm. uh, they could just lose, honestly. Uh, if Magnus gets too much in the offlane somehow, it's just going to be really rough for him, by the way. Like, GG. Uh, that's probably the biggest problem this whole draft. Magnus is completely screwed. You yeah. can't pressure this Huskar. Lich is going to be pulling the wave. Literally, just through sacrifice. Yeah. And Magnus can't jungle that quickly. I, he also, probably has the Iron Talent in the Age of Iron Talent being a pretty dead item. I also don't think the Silencer is going to be able to do a hell of a lot. Like, this is not a core Silencer, Whoa, right? He doesn't have to do anything but hit, hit the, the R drop, button. The, uh, All right. <coughs> just presses. Well, yeah, but they have heroes that don't really give a shit about Global, right? Once Huskar is in, if he's gotten off his ult, He's got, you know, global isn't really a big game changer. He's still committed, even if he has a couple stacks of the fiery spears. Mm. I Blink feel the same way about Viper. Five. Two? What? Blink yeah, daggers by 25 minutes? Home. Probably just two. Two? Magnus. Most Sand kills King. at the end of the Should game? Be it. Gotta be. Oh, if Kezu might have his. I don't know, but if, like, if Secret are winning enough that Kezu and Yapsor have blinks, will the Magnus. Yeah, 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 go with three. Go with three. All right. Let's do it. Secret, I think, yeah. right? What do you think Secret's going to win? I, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of on Danish Bears, but I agree that if you're doing your predictions, you can just pick all the secret shit. That's fine. Tower destruction, 8 to 11. First sure. tower. But sure. I think they're going to turn it up. I think they're going to win this one. Smoke gank kills? I'm officially no, no, no. picking Zero Danish Bears. Four. Yeah, this one's that's a weird. It's pretty buggy. Officially on Danish Bears. Yep, I'm going for it. All I've right. watched these guys right. for the past, like, two years. I mean, they've been looking good. I and mean, you said it earlier, but 747... Has been looking very crisp so far in this qualifier. Has to Joe as well. I mean, I certainly think Danish. PA Bears against SK draft. Lich and Viper LMAO. Nice caster. <laughs> Got him. <'em>. Got him. <laughs> see Classic. you in a couple minutes, <laughs> yeah, dumbass. Read Viper. off his name. It's, fuck me, bruh. Fuck me, bruh. Fuck you, bruh. <laughs> Congratulations, dumbass. <laughs> You're saved in my official Valve cast. <laughs> Steve Secret versus Danish Bears. Welcome to the game, and let's get it you know, on the fate of EU on this one. Trent, do you think this is uh, value odds? Here? By the way, just to add to his intelligence, he also picked Jug, their friend. So. Oh, God oh, damn it. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm in the same camp as Fuck Me Sideways or whatever his name is. Damn it. Damn. Bruh. Bruh. If Bruh. pick isn't Jug, Bruh. I'll pay entire chat one. Okay. Dude, this guy's really blowing it. We picked the mm, right he, guy to read all his he comments. Blew it. <laughs> he freaking blew it. Oh, wake out. Rice courier out snipe. There watching that courier. Oh, 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 oh. did they see him? I don't think they, don't saw, think they saw him. A little late. That poor little courier is going to nah, walk definitely right did not home. See him. Oh, sweet little donkey. Get dun, out. Dun, no! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, that was it's dead. dead. He went a little early. Trent, do you think these are value odds here? Danish Bears, uh, 3.72. This, yep. is, this is worth it. This is a five that's, euro that's kind of game, right? Yep. 100% well, value. A little value bet. All right, what do you guys think about these lanes? Mid lane, we've got a double up. We've got a tri lane here yeah. from oh, yeah. the Danish Bears. This Mid one smart. on a Viper. What, you, what is this? Such a flashy player <laughs> put onto the least flashy hero in existence. I love it. Yep. Uh, so I was talking to Mott earlier, our resident Viper expert, oh, no. true. about what to do. And he said, do you want to know how to beat Viper? Is you just destroy his laning phase. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to triple up on Viper and make sure that his middle, his middle is hellish. Is Maybe that will give them enough that they need to make sure that he doesn't ball out of control. The question is, however, what is your Magnus do then? He's got no he's help. He's fine. They have to send the Lich mid. That's yeah. the dream, actually, because he's pulling oh, that attention mid no, with all this pressure. Oh, it's going to be back-to-back. Yapsor's on his way in. Guys, 
mid one's gonna die for a second time. The Danish Bears, off to the start they want. They will trade one for one this time. They lose Noya. Rise in pretty deep at 747. Also nearby, Puppy forced oh, back as Yapsor and Rise go blow for blow. 747 wants this. Right, we will catch it, but he goes back defensively, leaves Rise high and dry. One more arcane curse. That last bit of damage. I like that. He's, he's playing like mid one last game, not committing too much for that Lich kill. I mean, the odds of you getting that and then like the Viper not coming and screwing you over. But Viper has to walk back to lane, so he's missing a ton of golden experience. Oh, nice bash there at the bottom. Still rotten in some trouble here. Pretty low. Only a couple dangles left. So this is great for the Magnus. Uh, yeah, I would rather my Mag's getting farm, honestly, because at least he can accelerate my PA. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's still seven last hits. He's getting experience. That's pretty much all you can hope for. All right. top. Yeah, we haven't talked about top yet. Got a nice PA up there, just free farming. We've seen this a lot from teams in Euro. They'll just let the top lane free farm and hope for the best, and somehow it works. I don't understand Dota. There you go. Moya and Yapsor going blow for blow. It's a little bug right. on bug action. Yeah. They sent the Husker back down bomb. So I think they're just like putting a little bit of pressure onto the PA to start, but. Like, Hesa Joe can be fully zoned. He can just be knocked out of this lane. And, and I wonder if they did it just to make sure he bought lane items, maybe? So he didn't commit for the Iron Town right away? But he can just buy it now. He still has gold. He didn't commit for his boots, which is really smart. That's pretty next level, Trent. Like, all right, we're going to bait this guy into thinking he doesn't need an Iron Talon. Well, honestly, dude. And in reality, Got this you. idiot needs Iron Talon. Now you need to buy it. <laughs> I mean, Try. it's actually good that he didn't buy boots, though. Because if he bought boots, he wouldn't be able to afford it. And then he's just yeah. in trouble. Will he go back and buy it? That's the question. He well, bought they, his boots. they sent the PA bottom, so he's going top. Okay, I see. Yeah, this really is musical lanes. Ace heads down. Kezu will stay up top for now, and they're going to pull another rotation. It's the level two Nyx that will once again bump into Yapsor. Gotcha. Two bugs fighting it out. This buggy says, no, I'm back to the high. Goodbye. He says, Noya. Noya. Noya today, sucker. Show, shout out to all the uh, Noya impales, by the way. He's played a ton of Nyx Assassin. A lot of teams have been banning at first phase against him, and he's just been fantastic. So many two and three man impales. Across both days. Mm. For Kazoo up top, getting a lot of space on this here void. I heard they called him Kazoo on Dream League, and he said, "Don't call me that." Yeah, yeah. So I he doesn't like that. I like, was you're the, the one, one who, asked yeah, you the spilled question. the beans, I yeah. guess. You did spill the beans. Yeah. He said he didn't mind that much. <laughs> he said that on the phone because he's a nice boy. He's a nice boy. He minds. Uh oh, haste rune on to uh, Yapsor. This guy's super dead. Look yeah. at that scurrying bug. There I go. I don't know why. He's just right clicking. He's just dead. He's just look at that minus two. Damn. Is that is that the first one he's gotten? Let's take a look. No. Oh, it's his third. Oh, oh so he was there for the fifth ones. It's actually great. Stolen intelligence. Oh, that's Remember, right. He was, I think he died. He was the one to kill the courier. Too. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Putting on Later. The, that dagger. Oh, he has two points in the. In the what is that one? The corrosive, corrosive skin. skin. How could you forget such a? Because then I was just getting confused with Nether Tossing Wonderful yesterday. Ability. But when it's level 2, don't you take more damage from the dagger than he actually takes? Per chance. Yes. Per so chance. It's like, if it's only a level 1 dagger. Yeah, then correct. it's fine. So like you can't take level 2 dagger versus a Veno or whatever. Or Viper. Yes. I just think that's right. Viper. You know, earlier today we had a team ban TA oh, and then 5th pick Veno. <laughs> that's oh pretty funny. Oh god, what the hell was that? They found Huskar. He pops the inner vitality. That'll nice. heal him up a little bit, but now Rise, he gets stunned by the Sand King. It might just be one big bait, though. Ace, he's reinitiated. Only level five. No coup de gras. Oh, wow. All right, we got the oh. stuns. Could oh. it be? Oh, falling very low on that Huskar. An initiation on the PA. She's way out of position there. There go the burns. Oh. Could it be enough? A it's tink. Fire. A tink. And there he goes with the Caustic Finale on the Sand King. So we're going to see a nice kill there. Three to three at five minutes. Both these teams very aggressive, very mobile, but no clear winner yet. Uh, Standing 474. Oh. That was a uh, get back mid. That was a pretty wild back and forth. Both teams playing very cautiously, but Magnus rotates back up top. Gets How close is Kezu to six? Farm against the Void. Very oh. close. That's a joke. Very scary situation right now. Well, look how many last hits he has. It's actually pretty good for the map. But luckily, along with a giant gold uh, visual, he will be watching the health bar change of the Faceless Void to know when Chrono has arrived. Whoa! True that. Oh, nice stun there. They're going to see if they can't save their boy. Bonk, bonk, bonk. He's going to burn down. Right. Oh, close. Corrosive just popped. The apps are almost stole a kill as per usual. Ah, uh, Noya with the classic counter to Viper, a TP scroll. Yeah, pretty darn good. Pretty effective. It worked that time. Yeah. And uh, we're about to see a level 6 coming out here on the co-op, which is pretty big for her. <laughs>
That guy you guys were blasting just said, how do I change my ID? <laughs> ah, got him! Oh. All right. Good, good sport. <laughs> good sport. Uh, do we have a hero to rotate top? We really don't. That is the only thing. They don't have a good chrono hero. So, like, you know, you have Queen of Pain on your team is faceless void. She shows up. You both ulti. It's great. You get some kills. Guys, I just want to let you know that uh, one of our hospitality people is making bacon, and it will be delivered. Yes! Oh, that is very so much just appreciated. So smell it a little bit, but just want to satiate I, yeah, I can't the... Smell it. Send her a message to make more bacon than she thinks a human <laughs> can eat, and bring it down to me. And I will show her a brave new world of bacon consumption. <laughs> Type that exact message tonight. Oh god, I'm trying. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Well, MP died. That was the one we missed, Ooh, but now the ones kill. we'll catch. It's gonna be Rise that's in some trouble. Up top, Kezu oh, got wow. the solo kill on Hesta Joe. Puppy looking for the TP, won't find it. His 747 comes in. Yapsor, he's gonna TP as well. They don't the have crit. the interrupt, but oh. they do! Oh, at the last second they find it. <laughs> nice job there. So that's actually pretty good. They killed the Huskar as well. Damn. Damn. So Huskar went down. Solo kill from Kezu top lane. So that's exactly what you were talking about, Trent. He just had the Chrono Sphere. Yeah, he just killed him. Easy kill. Yeah. I mean, you just run at him until he skewers once away, and then you just run at him again. But he, eventually he just has to stay and try and keep getting levels. So he'll, he will die. Man, he knows it. Very desperate for his level 6. Completely different hero once you get that level 6. Mm-hmm. So, hanging out in the mid lane. He can actually yeah. do something. Well, that yeah. last crepe, will it be enough? He uh, he does have the rotating heroes, like in the Queen of Pain and stuff. So once he has the RP, they can just set up free kills. Oh, yeah. That's the most effective thing that we've been seeing for Magnus this lately. Don't even wait for people to get together. Just solo yeah. RP Kill as someone. many times as you can. Just get those kills underway. Mm -hmm. Noya going it's on that really face annoying. Bash, bash. Show me another one. Show me. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Kezu backs up. <laughs> Naughty Joe Rotten, you guys level 6, heading up, about 15 mana shy of that RP, but looks like he ain't gonna do much, Yapsor taking in some sand, the sentient sand whispering into the ears. Nasty mm -hmm. Joe Rotten. I found the uh, recent games of Empire with the Magnus PA have been very impressive, uh, Magnus PA or Troll PA, the way that uh, they've shown how that hero, oh, speaking of the, uh, the solo RP. Viper Strike! Oh. Oh, a solo RP right there. Not the best RP in the world, oh, but what can he do? It's going to do the job, maybe. Uh, oh, there we oh, go. The dagger. <laughs> a casual dagger to take the uh, kill. Nice. And there you go. I think if you're dire, you're pretty happy with that, right? Yep. For sure. Like, yeah, you lose your Magnus, but Woo. PA gets a kill. Now, if you want to look cool in the real world, uh -huh. and you can take any Dota oh, ability, right. just... To look cool, I'm pretty sure daggers. Are cool. Uh, you might be right, actually. You just have that would be quite a party 25, trick. Twenty-five. Well, what's the cooldown on that? Like three seconds. It's like six or something like yeah, that. Six. It feels like three seconds. <laughs> you just <laughs> you're just standing there and then <laughs> boop, you just throw a dagger. You could I be mean, a professional dart player. You could be a professional dagger player. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I, you know, you don't think Light Striker Ray would also impress people? Hey guys, check this out. <laughs> Watch, what about Sun Strike? Hey guys, watch me call a beam from the sun. <laughs> That's more terrifying. You want something you could do at a That's party. That's true. You'd be like thrown into jail or something. Right, right, right. No one's going to be like, oh, that guy just threw a dagger. I mean, oh. dude, if you were in a frat house and you had global silence, I'm pretty sure people would be impressed. I already that. have a, a skill from Dota. What's permanent that? invisibility. Oh, wow. Because no one ever invites me to anything. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, it's funny because it's too <laughs> true. Oh. Oh. My feels hurt. Mm. Okay, well, well, double damage on Sand King. Rise is dreaming of uh, his own special ability, level 6. So we can have some global silence plays going on here. So Let that PA go to work. Yeah, what's MP up to? He's only level 6. This Huskar has not gone off. He does not have an armlet at 11 minutes. Remember those no. glorious Peruvian teams that would come up and get this no boots, no nothing, straight armlet? By the boys. Those were the days. Now what is this? Stick. Stick. Boots. Wind lace. Cowardice is yeah. what this Oh Pathetic my god, Pathetic items. I mean, times change. Woo! Make, look at this. She even brought just the first Gentlemen, wave. Gentlemen, fake in time. Ah, rah, rah. Thank you, thank you. Oh. oh god, mid lane we got fight. Oh my oh. Oh, not today, son! One, two, Kezu sets it off ah, and now nice. Sand King comes in. Beautiful epicenter. He blows him up. Mmm. That was absolutely unbelievable. The Magnus was set to turn that entire team fight and in a split second, Kezu 
says not today. And again, Trent Packs, they give the kills to Yapsor, a recurring theme for Team Secret. It's their play. It's what they do. They've like figured this thing out that no one else has really noticed. You know, yeah, bounty runes are cool, but they're, what if you just give every kill to your support? They're like Mike Tyson, man. They just refuse to lose. You know, they uh, they can't hit creeps that fast, so I'll just let them take the kills. That's it. I like that Huskar set. You get a you yeah, get a lot of nice. the uh, the neck muscle there. <laughs> <laughs> the trapezoid. Huskar's traps are unbelievable. And and his pectorals. Can we get a, I mean, a hydra up view, please, of just the trap? His pectorals are so important. They're the only Look thing he at covers those with armor. Traps. Okay, yeah, those are pretty sick. Yeah. I, Look, check out that dagger, too. He looks like it's from Lord of the Rings or something. Yeah, that is a makes spear. me want to work out oh, with the dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you want to look like Huskar with those thick traps. You have a roommate that works out with some pretty sick traps. Mm -hmm. Carlo's bulky. Should we yeah. bring Carlo on stream? It's not one of these times. Oh, dude. Th th was that the spice? No. What? Was that Spidey sense? Oh, he saw the uh, silencer approaching from the Observer Ward. That's what mm. it was. And then he was like, hey, someone's under me right now. I'm not getting global to death. Ooh, ooh, How this bacon Did he get around the observer? No, he gets spotted. A oh, you can eat it all. That's oh, fine. Fantastic. Daddy hungry. Daddy hungry. That's right. You just got up. I'm hungry. We already spent the day eating on stream. Nice. Yeah, I had a sandwich. Oh, oh. Oh, no, the face little... check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An awkward... oh this is awkward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was like, well, isn't that a little scary dancing? for the Huskar? That's one of those things where Ace can just spam daggers. If he gets a lucky crit, Huskar like, actually almost dies there. Uh -huh. Yep. So they have to run. It's not an easy Huskar game. We've talked about it a couple times. There's a lot of pure damage. You have the Quapo. We didn't even talk about Silencer. But if Ryze gets a little bit, you know, 15 minutes from now, those Glaives oh. of Wisdom are going to be... we're just going to talk about the Global. The Global's pretty good against Huskar well, in general. True, <laughs> but just the pure damage, you know? Sure. Well, I once saw do. Slax eat 50 strips of bacon with his bare hands. He was like a caveman. Cyborg Matt. That is true. Thank you, Cyborg Matt. <laughs> Thank you for those. ESL New York. Fond wouldn't memories. give me any weenies, so I just ate a lot of bacon with my bare hands. Who would now you have all the weenies? weenies you could ever ask for with mm -hmm. your YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. That was that was an attempt at some kind of flame. Good try. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway to blink dagger I'm a, I'm on nasty Joe Rotten. Now he gets stunned. Well. Mm -hmm. Trent. It's a chain frost. Now the global <laughs> silence, I think, has to Joe might be dead, but he gets off the RP. A shockwave. Joe's still alive as his team shows up. They bring down Yapsor. Oh, oh, the Kezu. hesitation. He's thinking about it. He can't decide what to do with the chrono. He's going to hang on to it for now. 747 zigs one way, rise the other. He oh, will oh. be the sacrificial lamb, but still, there are reinforcements. Noya perhaps on the run. Remember, 747. He's on the other side. He can still reinitiate, but no, he's farming. It's cool. <laughs> Don't get that mine. It's all good. Man, Back to farming we go, boys. I thought that was going to break out into a tizzy, but it was just a little bit of the old fist to cuff back and forth. Boys will be boys, as they say. Wow. 18 kills, 14 minutes. Nice stuff. In the void, uh, in the lead is the void. 6k. That's a lot of money for a faceless void. Well, what do those usually build these days? Gonna be seeing any scepters on Void? Uh, void. Probably yeah. Shadow Blade. Uh, mm -hmm. He's gonna go Shadow Blade. We saw Lincoln's first earlier. Uh, Blink Dagger, still a thing. He's the uh, Silver Edge carrier for them, so that'll be their answer to the PA. Oh. Yeah. So that way you don't buy Blink either. You actually get that, it helps you farm too at the same time. Mm -hmm. All right, the strength of the Magnus PA combo. She Finally coming online. Effortlessly, yeah. Get these ancients and get those levels. She desperately needs to come online, though. They got to start putting a little bit more control on this. They've done a very good job making sure that Huskar is completely Bottom. worthless, though. Oh, 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 Viper. He's, He's about to get oh, dumpster, dude. He's Double damage. Absolutely dumpster. Yep, it's gonna be a lot. Quap. She's actually taking a lot of damage in return. 747 won't what? die. There's no way. Oh, There's no way. Oh! So that, this was a Roche play. That's the only way you're pushing that tower, is if you want to try and force rotation Dude, so your team can just Roche. Do you how close he was to living there, though? Yeah. It was close. But he, he knew, like, it looks like suicide, right? Because this guy's just on the other side of the map completely alone. You're like, what's this guy doing? But he knows if I die, that means they're going to need at least three or four heroes. So my team can just Roche. Mm -hmm. And that's so game-winning for a Husk guy when it's this point in the game, because now he can use that to accelerate. That's what we call tactical feeding. Yeah. Okay? I do it all the time. Here okay. Go. Ace going to go for the TP. It's a bold move, but they drop the chrono to secure the kill. That's I think it's the right play. It is the PA after all. It's the hero they need to slow down. I like it. All right. Slow she has been. Up in the top lane. Mr. Rotten going to be putting on some power pressure here. Pretty even stuff here. He's got a siege too, so that's yeah. something in there. But that ice armor. Ice armor. OP. Too OP to uh -oh. handle. Oh, Look out! Oh. 
We got a, a helm coming out on the enemy team too. Danny Spears are learning. Rise is going to try and build one eventually. How is the uh, puppy helm status? He's got the headdress. <laughs> it's <All> come. Right. <laughs> helm on the way. What is the uh, the base damage for the Burning Spears out of curiosity for that talent? Yes, you, yes. You click Huskar. Just tell us out of memory. Burning Spear. <laughs> Just go to the Burning Spear thing. Uh, so, like, at max level, it's 20. So, that's pretty sick. That's like a fifth level of Burning Spears from talent. Mm -hmm. A fifth? Oh, boy. Hang on to your hats. <laughs> Dota 3. Dota 3. A fifth of the damage has been added. No, a fifth level. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's yeah, like, because of scaling. Like, oh, so like 20. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Try it again. Incredible. <laughs> oh, puppy's got the gloves queued up. Look out. It's happening. Okay. A little skittery Nyx here. Looking for something. Level Nyx, 7. Nyx, 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 16 Nyx, Nyx. seconds till he can do anything. And Guys, we're just in Farmville. He's thinking about Urn of Shadow. He's thinking yeah. about Blink, too. I don't know about what, if Blink does much for him this game. Well, it does something for our predictions. There's only yeah. one, so better buckle up. I think he definitely might have Urn first, as he just did. Like, Blink doesn't really... There's no hero that he can Blink in and ob obstruct the fight with Carapace, which is one of the best things about Blink on Nyx. Yeah. Like, Orchid almost done for Quap. She's like... 200 gold off. Oh no. That's a biggin. I mean, he could blink in the chrono to stop the Sand King epicenter. And that's true. Eat a lich ult. Could also just stop the about? void from. Oh, for away. the next, yes. <laughs> who, are we who would want to do that? St Stun the. Uh, st <laughs> stopped with, with the epicenter. You say? Uh, there's a rap coming from Noya. Yep. Sneaking. It just got pinged by Void, though. It looked like. It has a feeling, it seems. Damn, look at the X's coming out. Double yeah. damage room. It's Kezu. They just scanned him, too. They know for sure. Kezu's going to go for it. Dude, he's hungry. He wants this. Oh, no. He... Oh, that's so good. Oh, did oh. he even know he got, yeah, he's got he the ward? He's all right. Hester Joe can't do anything to save his friend. That's so painful. A beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. shit. Not only does he get the bash, but he hits through the evasion. I mean, that is true skill right that there. That is right? it. He's only got one point in blur. Still true skill. Don't belittle him. Yeah, do not. Come on. All right. All right. Jeez. What would Nahaz say? Numbers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers. I think that's a direct quote, I believe. That is a direct <laughs> Nahaz quote. Numbers and shit, guys. <laughs> shit don't lie. Shit don't lie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shadow blading into the middle, trying to get himself some Noya, and Noya, oh, Noya gonna get out of there, one. Oh my so god, slow. he gets the bash, the follow-up stun. That's my favorite, when Sand King starts walking away, and then he's like, oh, fuck a bash, oh, Jesus, <laughs> this can happen. Oh, lord. All right, well, Huskar, you know, he's coming back, he's coming back. Yep. He's a strong boy. Um, one minute left Radiant's on that Aegis, so he's got to kill himself. But if there's one hero that's great at trying to kill himself, it's Oscar. Should be okay. <laughs> Down bottom, some split push. Susie. So many split pushing queens today. Going for the Silver Edge himself. The uh, counter to Huskar. Get rid of, uh, what's it called? Berserker's Blood. Berserker's that's the Blood. My friend. <laughs> Need to get rid of that passive, dude. Nobody likes that. Oh. Getting uh, destroyed up there in the top lane. Nice trade ski on the yeah. towers, but they really need to take that fight. Oscar's Aegis is almost up. They gotta find somebody. Can I get an F5. An F5, baby. There you are. Thank you. Push that goddamn Rax and kill yourself, Oscar. Come on, buddy. Get in there. Get so we we have the puppy Oops. helm. The puppy helm. Does he have the uh, the frost ogre yet? Can we get a frost ogre? Oh, I see it in the mid lane. I see a creep on puppy. What is it? Oh, oh, it's the Frost Ogre! It's screaming Frost Ogre! <laughs> Look at that oh, double. They want it, wow. they find the stun on two! Kill the global! Oh yeah, here we go, there Great we go. use of global. Rise will not even be able to TP <laughs> out. He's made a paper. Hey, yeah, yeah. Joe Rotten, looking on the back to see if there's anything that maybe they can pick or turn around. Doesn't look like it, so he's just gonna have to walk away from this. Now, maybe rotate down at Queen's the bottom. Queen's nearby, yeah, they he might get this Queen. kill. have Viper is alone. Of so. all the heroes, though. Yeah, he's, he's pretty tanky. Viper is uh, definitely not... Oh, oh, but, what, what did he just do? Uh, that's that was, a flare move. He, he, double, he double tapped his blink. Double tap blink flare move. Oh, oh no, not like this. Viper! No. Yeah, okay. Uh, goodbye. But still, they're gonna get at least one kill here. Hesta Joe, he's pretty darn Whoa! low. Kezu with the chrono, he catches two. Now Quap might have time to blink away. Time dilation will make this escape a bit harder, but Puppy's there, Chain Frost. 
747 will blink into the trees. Wow, Danish bears. What a disaster the, the to have nerves. to pick up that. that. The nerve of trying to initiate on a Viper uh, in any yeah, circumstance. <laughs> it's just like, you're both there, and it's like, if this is any hero, it would be so easy, but the Viper's there, and you're like, well, we have to do it. Like, we need something right now. Yep. And uh, that's what happens. There it is. The coveted double frost. The coldest night. The whitest winter coming out on Huskar. Ooh. Truly a terrifying combination. Top. What is it's your three shields with, if you count the one on his back? Three shield and if he solar crests himself? Yeah, he's got you're right. He has four shields. <laughs> he's got 43 armor at 20 minutes. 72% physical resistance with 20% evasion. evasion. Yeah. How do you like it, PA? Jesus. How do you like me? Top Top lane. Lane. Helm of the Dominator. Oh my Still god, it's Viper item. again. All right, we saw how this story ended last time. Let's see if there's an alternate ending. It looks uh, like Director's they've got the cut. kill. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah PA's was... a little better. Okay. They've got the Orchid. They've got the Shadow Blade. It's a yeah. big kill. I think it was 747 that built the Silver Edge last time on Queen 2, right? Uh, oh I think it was, was against it? Bristol. God. Yeah. My god, look at that. Yeah, he's a rich dude. Now he's There's a little bit more armor for me. <laughs> There's a little more. Where's my Lich? Puppy, get over here. Puppy, <laughs> where's my freaming, screaming Frost Troll? I do love it that the Frost Troll has become in meta. I yeah, love it's, watching it's him walk around. Can I get a look, a uh, showcase mode? That's what we were saying. Point? He's a he's a Frost Ogre, uh, Ogre Frost Mage main. This is what puppies, yeah. this is his hero. Can I see those sweet uh He has some good hips? back, yeah. Check out that chest. Oh, you know that's a man that, he's got a little fat, but there's a lot of power he on What's up with that chin? He's just, you know, <laughs> dude, he's got like the job of the hut chin. He looks like <laughs> the mom of that fat kid. What's her name, Honey Boo Boo? <laughs> this is the guy who's at the bar, and you're like, I could probably take him, but you can't. Because <laughs> under all that fat is just an amount of muscle and skill. Yeah. That's my favorite, his cast animation. It looks like yeah, he's it is fucking a nice one. falling down a flight of stairs. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, oh, there's an invis void. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's spooky. Get us out of this. There you go. He's looking for... All right, he's, he's okay. back. He was just coming back from the enemy territory. Don't worry, guys. We didn't miss anything. I got scared. We're professionals here. We know what we're doing. Yeah, don't worry. Classic stuff right here. Oh, 15 strength picked up on Viper. All right, we definitely need to see some major team fight coming out here, but eh, they're so spread. Anyone's trying to get anything on the they, map. They're doing a good job splitting the map, though. Look at the net worth. Secret have not really been able to pull super far ahead. It's still within a very reachable grasp. A reachable grasp. Uh-huh. A reachable grasp? The grasp? Grasp. <laughs> It's a, it's a graspable graph. A wow. clasp on my graph. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that was enough. He ruined it. I'm Moving sorry. right back in. <laughs> oh, oh, PA. Blinks. Finishes what a crit. Creeps. Great. Down bottom, though. It's Void. Nice. Oh, no. Oh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, Double silence. Nice. Good night. All right. Initiation, oh, nice though, on the PA. Go. Cancels the TP, and Joe Rotten. I think it's a he damage, TP's but out. nice TP there as well. Ace, good night. That was a pretty clever attempt, though, where he, like, blinks, skewers the Huskar and immediately TP's trying to save his, uh, PA. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, there to clean up. So... How is, how's our blink dagger thing looking? Is it 25 or 30 minutes? Isn't it 25 minutes? I think it's 25. We have 20 seconds. Oh, no. And there's two. Is anyone about to buy one on us? Are we good? I, bet, I think no, we lost. Arrows. We did three to four. Oh, did we? Oops. Well, Why did we do that? Told you. He yeah. had faith in the Magnus Blade. Yeah. Magnus has one, dude. It was the uh, the secondary the void. Blade, the void, yeah, but he bought the Shadow Blade instead. Oh, we should have known because the of the void. Silver Edge need. No. It's our yeah. own fault, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Truly uncalculated. We biffed that Triple one. stack for the PA, that's kind of a big deal. Eh, yeah. Incorrect. No. Oh. Minus MMR. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I will be very excited to see that get taken, but what if Void takes it instead? Oh, Oh, jeez. Oh, what do you think about this Viper build? Just S&Y and uh, Hurricane Pike? I think it's pretty good. Uh, you've seen how he's playing this game. He just, he's, see, look, he's a guy not smoked. <laughs> this is their game plan. Yeah. I'll just be in this lane over here, guys. Nice, though. 2,500 HP. Look at this play, though. They're going to show him mid, and they're going to bait the other way. 747 thinks, hmm, this is suspicious, but would they be here? Probably not. They pop a dust. They always got the silver edge. Another double don't, damage. They don't have bottle. scan. They used it a minute ago. Mm. Yeah, I think he's good here. I like 747 right here. Maybe getting a little sneaky, trying to find himself a pick. Now that they think that he's gone. The tree cover from this map is just insane. Can't see anything in there. Completely broken. <laughs> it's, uh, so they're closer up top for Monkey King, so it's easier to move between trees. Oh, oh right. That makes sense. No problem. 
Thank you. And we have more bacon delivered. And I will eat all of it. Thank you, you're a god. Ooh. Now it's a smoke up from the dire this time. So Hesajo oh. needs to make the big plays. Ace, he is rocking the uh, almost BKB. Really this is a dangerous now? smoke, yeah. Yeah, 300 gold away from BKB. Man, it's a bad BKB game. Super I mean, I know you need game. it, but it feels terrible. Like, look at these BKBing into. It feels yeah. awful. By the way, do you ever take 30 damage instead of 15% life steal? So. That is that one of those highly like, completely no brainer talents. 15% life steal at 15 is sick. It actually opens up some possibilities for Huskar. Especially when you don't have a game. Dazzle or an Oracle. Yeah. Well, even with an Oracle, it's really good for the, uh, the LT. But. My only form of healing is attacking. Let's get it on. God, he's got inner vitality, guys. Well, nobody That's uses true. that. That's garbage. How many points he put in that? Four? Radiance. Garbage. What's an idiot? <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Type in the all chat, don't skill <laughs> vitality, idiot. He actually waited to skill the level two on his ult. He just skilled it. Mm. It's a little surprising. Mm. Oh, look at that stack. I'm so excited. It's one of those ones where it's not worth it compared to everything else. Especially when you consider your magic passive and stuff. Like yeah. you're like still skilling all that That's stuff. That's true. I guess, does every Huskar level yes. inner vitality yeah, 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 yeah. that high? You level all your skills. All right. We've been looking at inner vitality for quite some time. It's very important. You want to read game. it, Slack? Do you want to read did. it again? Hey, whoa, is that a puppy creep? Whose creep oh. is that? Oh, sorry, that's a dire creep. That's oh. Rises. Hey, he chose the inferior creep. Yes, not the Frost Mage. What a terrible Screaming decision. Screaming Frost Mage. Wait a second, a lot of pressure being put on bot. I think they know that they might be in Roche, and they're just going to split push quap. Does. What is this new split push quap meta? She, she has a great base attack time. She scales with attack speed so well. Back She's very mobile. Now I know. Secret they is going to be able to get that Roche and defend. That's a cheese, too. You cannot fight this. You run away. Yeah, it's they smart might be able to catch some people in the back end here as they try to take that tower. Right clicks, but it's just a Nix and a Co-op. Easy out, easy fright. It looked good for Danish Bears at first, but Secret kind of got the better of that. They still get Roshan Aegis. They don't take that much damage on their Tier 3, all things considered. It's never really a big threat, but stun from Yapsor connects on Rise. Chrono from Kezu. Very it's a nice. beautiful setup. A photo finish as Puppy picks up Damn. the double. That was seriously long range. That was... He dropped it. Uh, something else. The Frost Sniper Rifle right there. Frost <laughs> Sniper? Look out, Frost Troll Mage! Alright. He's okay. And uh, guess who's back down on bottom lane? It's Set Queen of Pain! Yeah. Seven for seven. The new greatest split push hero in Dota history. Radiant's Would you believe it? Has the Silver right Edge too? Up. Difficult to deal with? Does escape? Yap Sword of Detection down bottom? Sorry. What? Does Yap Sword of Detection on Sanko? One moment, please. Just going. <laughs> All right, he does. Thank you. Thank you. All right, are we smoking? What's Whoa. up, boys? Wow. Big rotation. Power Rangers coming in. Silence on the Viper. Gonna try to go in. There's the silence. As soon as that global silence oh. is done, they're probably Team. gonna turn this one, one around. Hero. And Viper is... Oh, oh cheese! Oh. cheese! Oh. What a cheese! And a nice, huge stun coming out from Nyx. I don't even think he knew what he was doing. Wow. And Void is gonna clean this sucker up. Oh, wait a second. Ace Push has back. the BKB. Maybe they can go the other way. Hesta Joe gets killed. Yaps or turned this fight around. Now he gets off the Yule Scepter. MP reinitiates. Rise gets melted. And the Dyer are now in full retreat. They will minimize their casualties. Oh it's God. a one for two, but that cheese, an absolute game changer. That is brutal if you're Ace. You're just like, all right, guys, that's my bad. I should have focused the same target. Because you think it looks like they're just going to finish him, but barely mm -hmm. survives from three other heroes, and uh, then he cheeses. Then the fight gets very difficult. I mean, he still dies, but that certainly costs you some extra resources and heroes and the engagement. Look, Slacks, he's going to get his Salt Karas so he can split push better. That's great. I'm Queen of Fame. I don't fight anymore. That was last week. Now I split push towers. We. You think she's going to get a Deso Trent? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> bye bye the AC that you like so much. There it is. I don't know. That was, we had that last game, too. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Wow. Yeah, I had that bold Shiva's prediction. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Very bold. No, you got an AC. Oh, yeah. yeah that was the other just game. This one. It was great. I like Assault Kuros. I'm yeah. Assault Curious. <laughs> hey, look what Viper's getting. It's an Orchid. That's going to be a Bloodthorn so they can counter Phantom Assassin. Yeah, another way to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love your casting style. Every time you say something that's like actually a decent comment, you say it in such a condescending <laughs> manner, everyone just feels bad about it. I'm, He's I'm gonna get to... an orchid. You wanna know what that does, guys? 
animal. <laughs> I'm practicing being an animal. <laughs> oh, beautiful Yules. There we go. And Noya will fall. Damn, a violent death for Nyx. Yes. Oh, he goes. They used the Yule scepter to interrupt his TP there, Slice. Thank you. You truly are becoming an analyst. <laughs> He's really good. All you have to do is talk shit about the players and we'll be in shape. <laughs> Here we go, Queen of Pain. <laughs> what are you doing? Why is he, why is he Here like we that? go. <laughs> you missed the greatest Sunsman accent I've ever heard. What was that? He has like this cockney, he sounds like Ogre Magi accent. It was incredible. Mm. I've heard a lot of Sunspan accents. I know, it was very time. good. No, this was a uniquely, he, he had the right level of mucus to yeah. pull it off. Oh, wow. It very. was something else. Hey, did that stack ever get picked up? Yeah! Oh, speak of the devil. Woo! Daddy, it's good. Mm. I've been waiting for you. How great is this to see? This is like Nine all of seconds. your pubs coming in once. You're watching a PA by MKB to deal with this damn solar crest. I mean, that is just oh. a sick satisfaction. That is. You know? All the times where you've been shit stomped by a PA because you can't afford that MKB in time. Yep. There you go. The irony is there. It's beautiful. And it is beautiful. Guys, Secret still hasn't really pulled away, though. I still have some faith in this Dire team. It feels like Secret's in control and winning these team fights, but Dire are really putting a lot of split pressure on, working yep. the map. PA's got a Demon Edge now. Clearly a Divine Rapier. Not the MKB we were just literally talking about. Well, Playing like a coward only goes so far. You can't split forever, buddy. Yep, now Rise, he's gonna get jumped on. That'll be an easy kill for mid one. One auto attack, one kill. Huskar, he's on the aggressive. He's got the Aegis. Three seconds on life break. Mm, Aegis about to get reclaimed here in 10 seconds. Uh-oh, we can see it. Thank you, Layerth. Noya with a big oh, he, stun. Oh, he was out of mana to Chrono. Oh! The Absor with a bigger up, stun. Kezu thinking about slamming. Chrono, but he doesn't have any mana. That's fine. Now Noya will still die. There you go. Okay. Well, that was exciting. They started to see other heroes across the map anyway, so it's just like not even with Chrono. 747. He's fine. Hmm. They have a gem on the Radiant, correct? Someone's running around with one, I believe. Is it Yapsor? Yes. Yes. Very good. Lich bought that gem. I think Hester Joe might Whoa. die. No. No? Not even oh. that fifth level in oh, 30. Spheres. Oh, oh that, that was, that was spooky. That oh. was Thank you. <laughs> Whatever that name is. Position looking for team position one or two. Well good luck, buddy. Thank you. I hope he uh, I owe me I hope he gets something. I find hope you team. find a team, buddy. Yeah. So you're not alone. Good you play luck. two positions, I'm sure that'll be valuable. Yeah, that's better than one. True. Two is better than one. Hey guys. It's not as good as three though. Instead of playing one position really well, I play two kind of okay. Could play five. Could looking for team be a coach? That's six. <laughs> looking for team manager. Hey guys, seven. position five or coach here. You decide. <laughs> what do they call the uh, the blitz manager? What is that called? The Water boy. What? <laughs> Two insults at once. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna put lifestyle coach. Life coach. Yeah. Life coach looking for team. Basically, will anyone be my friend? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be mine. Slacks, we were trying to talk earlier how much it would cost to uh, buy that Polish team. Singularity. Yeah, they're only good, buddy. You buy a Polish team? You want to make yeah. an investment? What do you think? Mm. Better than buying a C team. At least you can get them into the country. Hey, you watch your tongue. Damn. We love uh -huh. C Dota here. Well, it's not about that. Oh, that's like, a good point. Yeah, 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 as yeah. an American or Canadian, you invested in a team that you can't do anything with. Oh, they're just some Poles. Let them in. <laughs> Let them in. <laughs> they're from Europe. Bring the sausage. Dun, 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 dun. Sneaky. Hey guys, look. Halberd! The Halberd? It's oh, coming Lich. on Lich. Okay. Coming to a Lich near you. Like They've that. already got a Solar Crest. Well, can't you Halberd BKB do you though? Uh, no, you have to hit it before, but it, they can't uh, BKB ditch it. doesn't cleanse it anymore. Yes. Ah. So you just can't put it on them while they're BKB, but it's it's very good now. That is very good. Especially when the Queen's going AC build. Jenkins referred to it exclusively as a broken item. Yes. Oh! oh. Oh, oh, that's the gem. Oh my god. <laughs> gem? Gem? Oh, the save? Right, maybe maybe he's still alive. Oh, the MP4! Yes! On four, it's Magnus, the hero that they needed, but now mid one joins the party. Chain Frost starts bouncing. They lose MP. It's a two for nil. They've lost the, gem. the gem. Make yeah. it three as Puppy 
goes down trying to recover it. It's a big whiff fight for Secret, and Hesta Joe Rotten, the man of the hour, you mm. gallop down that mid lane, big boy. That's you. That was beautiful. God, surgical RP, and we've seen oh. a lot of Hesta RPs coming out, I believe. His farm is really good, too. He's only like 2k behind the Void, and considering his team's been controlling, it felt like Void's been controlling the map a lot. Like, it's been mostly the split push coming out from 747 that's really kept this map anywhere near okay uh, for the Dire. So, like, a lot of that gold's being absorbed. You can see to the top of the chart. I mean, mm -hmm. 18 and 18, and Magnus is still hanging in there. That's very impressive to have a Shadow Blade right now. Absolutely. Guys, this game is now even. In fact, the Dyer have taken an edge. They get that last outer tower. I mean, still a tier 3 standing down bottom. Is this their Roche? Yeah. They have the Whoa. MKB, too. This is going to be a big boy up. Some Cheddar. It actually could be a very big turning point. And now remember, right now Secret, the only team in Europe of the group stage that has only one loss. A loss here would bring them down with the other, what, top four teams that are all five and two right now with two losses themselves. Six and two? Whatever it or is. Whatever. But yeah. it's, it's all about the number of losses, right? So this is big. This it, is big. It is, but uh, things are still pretty even, though. It's really about who gets that big team fight. Uh, ultimate. Is it going to be Joe Rotten or is it going to be Kansas? You don't think the uh, MKB on PA is a game changer there, Slex? Not really. No. Not to me. <laughs> okay. No. Is uh, Magnus thinking about committing for the Sol Silver Edge or is he going to go like BKB? He hasn't decided. Like he hasn't decided. I think going for the Silver Edge is not a bad choice. It lowers the cooldown. I, but there's so many other things he utility. needs, like Refresher and stuff. And After that RP, Refresher would definitely be good. I do, I don't know if the Silver Edge, like you already have one and you have an MKB on your PA. But again, the Silver Edge against Huskar is so nice. A bit of a tough call. Hmm. Even the, I mean, breaking the Viper, of course, we even talked about that, but reducing the overall damage that comes from him as well as his passives is pretty disgusting. So maybe a second Silver Edge is worth it. We'll see what he does. Depends on how confident he feels that he can get off his uh, RPs with the Absor in the game. In that situation, he knew your, where Yapsor was specifically. Like, he was the initiator, so it's very easy to be the follow-up hero as a Magnus. But if you're trying to follow initiation from Queen of Pain, you don't know where Yapsor is yet. Then you just want, like, BKB and get in there and start RPing people. Ooh, that's a Javelin. Just casual, queued up Javelin. Just <laughs> I, a Javelin. Is the rest on the Courier? Wouldn't Lair show that? That's the Javelin. <laughs> Alright, Frosty Troll, frosting everybody up. Everyone's pretty... It's just chilling. Ooh. It's just Javelin Gamer. Yeah. He's going to the Olympics. <laughs> Nixie, try to find something, but he will find nothing. And we have this kind of awkward, everyone's walking together, but nobody has found each other yet. Is Faceless actually eliminated? Is don't don't trust chat. But yeah, actually it says it, it's so. It's starting to look kind of real. I believe chat. I'm sorry. Oh my. Oh, Faceless. Faceless. Sorry, Winter. Put your hand up if you had them oh. first place. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. oh! That whole region anyone could have won, honestly. It was, it was bound to be it's very good. It's very volatile. Oh, what, what a nice thing to say. Hey, look. A Manta style on Void. He's going to go for a Silver Edge. That that pesky time, Orchid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Any moment now, guys. We're waiting for that Any big moment. fight. Any second now. They have uh, good wards across the whole map, trying to give some patrol here. Oh, okay. Hey, what do we he know? Oh, hey. oh, my. He did. That's actually huge. They got an Aegis. And they have two minutes left. They have a Bloodthorn finish now. They could force a buyback. That's something. You can something. see they draw it on the mid lane. They want to go in mid and take a lane of barracks, if not two. Perfect they... timing on the Bloodthorn. There is a buyback on Huskar. See, that line said down mid and top. I wonder if they're really trying to dodge both shrines. Is that actually a thing they would try right here? Hmm. That would be very interesting. We'll see. Because like, if you fight mid, there's two shrines for them to use, whereas if you fight top or bottom, there's not. So that's what they're... Oh, the tower's lower down here anyway, too. So that's a nice extra bonus. Whoa, look but at that you can't damage. use the second top shrine. Up top. Googly moogly. It's Yap Zor split pushing. He's got the TP. That's going to be a tier 3 down. Ace, not the Aegis carrier, but he does have Cheese and the oh, BKB. Geez. Oh, wow. He's going in. Yeah, he just he, blinked oh. right in the back line. He's trying to kill Puppy. This is and bold. Yeah. That, that Frost Armor on the buildings is slowing him down so much. Really pushing them back, though. I mean, Frost Armor off the buildings now. It's time to feast, and two buildings will go down with the split push still happening up at the top lane. Mr. Sand King has reached the tower now. We'll see if they start to rotate in. He has officially tickled the tower. <laughs> yes. And he will TP home. All right. Goodbye. Well, sure, okay. they got a Rax, but let's look at that tower damage top. 
I mean, that's half a tower. I mean, I think so, that's worth. Worth? Screw the racks. For Dyer. Amazing. Incredible. Unbelievable. Incredible work there. 8,800 gold lead. Take down some shrines. They still have cheese. Uh, who's that on? PA, probably? You know, call me crazy, but I think the Radiant came out ahead on that one. <laughs> I think, I think you are crazy. Power damage <laughs> is better than a rack. You're probably right. Mm -hmm. Is PA holding cheese? I think so. Can we yeah. get a layer over the icon up top of the cheese, please, pimp? Come on, man. Who like, has what year the is it? Please put some stinky lines above the hero. Ah, that's a good idea. Stinky. Some stinky cheese lines, please. And I find it weird that. Uh, Oh, okay, so Aegis shows now. Sometimes Aegis doesn't show on this. Yes. What, did they fix that? Maybe they fixed it. I don't know, but it is showing on Co-op right now. That's perfect. It's great. It's good. It's good. It's a 10k net worth. Look at this gold graph. Oh. Oh. That RP? Oh. That. You, you got to find it. That RP. To be a fly on the wall in that game room. <laughs> I hit sound like this. Oh! <laughs> They're focused, dude. Nobody's screaming over there. These are warriors. I so we have heartedly disagree. <laughs> I'm sure they were screaming. If they didn't pat Hester Jaw on the back, then oh, he way. bought a Yule Scepter. So some survivability, but keeps his gold towards the buyback. Dude, this co-op is going straight carry. Seven four seven is going Mjolnir? into the Mjolnir. Yeah. He's going to be doing so much right-click damage. Slacks, you know about these mechanics, right? You hit level 25, you get the spell life steal, you put the static charge oh on yourself. Oh my god, that's actually so good. And then all of those look, look at Look at all those little damages. Steal. You have Viper, you have mm -hmm. the uh, the Sandstorm, or like just anything from Sand King. Oh, and the Burning Spear is constantly ticking over you. That's actually yep. disgusting. Like, have you ever used that thing against an Iron Shell? Mm -hmm. It actually makes a mistake of it hitting a, a creep. It does a stupid amount of damage. Yeah. And with Quap, it's compounded by the fact that it makes her almost unkillable, at least yeah. while the buff is up. You guys remember Blade Mail? It's like that. Mm -hmm. Oh boy! For that patch. And then of course she also life steals from the like just the, what she gets from her auto attacks. Those chain lightnings, plus all of her other shit. It's pretty impressive. So constant pressure in the bottom lane. He's making it difficult for Secret to get out. Uh, they don't have the best split pushers at all, really. They have to fight around Chronosphere. They're it's completely locked in the base. They are just yeah. turtled up here, afraid to leave. Let's take a look at Radiant Vision. They have nothing. This is the line right here, just completely blocked off. Oh, Jesus. And they're like, we still don't even have the Silver Edge because he went for that Manta instead, trying to deal with the Queen of Pain's Orchid. Take a look at Dire Vision here. We got some wards up, some split push, trying to come out, but they are ready to hunt. I mean, Secret are rightfully playing timid right now because they know if they step out, it's just going to be a free kill. And if this turns into a 4v5, that's where they might lose another lane of racks. Buyback status looking pretty okay. Oh, this is sneaky. Several cores available. What are we attempting here? Hoping Sand King or someone pops their head out to push this lane. Smoke in the bottom. Slax, what are they doing? They're waiting patiently, oh, oh, buddy. Oh, oh. Once they someone's going to have to hit those creeps. Oh, oh and that's oh, is the it target Viper? that they want. They really want the Huskar the most. That's how they got their last racks. Silenced it up, but luckily, four staff not affected by that silence there. They're going to move straight onto the oh Viper. My God, he is doing he a does lot. does have that, and boom! Nice save there by Kevin. Oh, what an RP yet again. If that ace go. Oh, my God, the PA. Oh, oh, it's the puppy. nightmare. Oh, shit. Gapsor oh, Ace is actually nightmare. going nasty. Nasty Joe Rotten again with the RP to keep them in this game. Ace might have bit off more than he can chew, though. The buybacks have come. He's in deep, and this will be the end of the PA. Does as much damage as he can before he goes down, but he does die. I want to look at this team fight recap. Pretty good for Secret, considering they don't lose any more structures. However, they do burn a couple of buybacks there, and it is costly. Yeah. Maybe not that costly, actually. No, it's, it's okay. It just means that they need to force a buyback here, or they're in big trouble coming to the next fight. But another sick RP, but Dude, uh, that Kesu chrono from Kezu killed. was actually perfect. Yeah. Like He waited till so much damage was spent onto the Viper, and then he chronos. The Viper can still throw all that damage inside, and but Queen of Pain is spells. You can see spells. it, though. Like, 747 going for this kind of build. He manned up on the Viper, and the Viper felt squishy. Oh, like, that's normally yeah. a hero that you think is awesome in those 1v1 man fights. And Quap showed him that women can fight too. <laughs> Notice that uh, 747 has there. not been <laughs> spamming. <laughs> That's unnecessary. Wildly <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, hey, that was a nice wh thing. Where's 747 with the uh, nonstop spams of the chat wheel? He's been he's been all over it. I think you're right. I think they are in the zone. You think the Euros were just like, listen, bro, who are the fragments who spam wow every time we get a kill? Wow. Okay, this there we go. Now it's turnaround time. Time for us to have an Aegis and go on in. Gotta force that buyback, but I don't think they're gonna make it there in 25 seconds, so 
Mission Force buyback is over. Mission Roshan successful. That's like the second best scenario. Second best. <laughs> Team secret. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. It is the battle of second the place. Schmook. For the loser, that is. Looking for somebody. Yet again, they're going to take a page out of that playbook and see if anyone wants to push these creeps while they're all smoked up. This is pretty unique, but I think they can tell. Looking at those creeps in the base from Radiant, they're in there. No look one look how far back they are. Yeah. <laughs> they're uh, around the ancient right now. We know. We know, boys. Get back to your base. You ain't doing this. Got the RP available, though. I like the patience from this Magnus. He's a patient boy. He really is. Takes his time. And he gets those super fucking clutch RPs. Yeah, they Literally are. Literally, this entire actually. match is. And on that his was back. like over a chrono somehow. That was he pretty did it crazy. last time, too. It was yeah. surgical. Absolutely surgical RPs. The Can problem, we see though, the buybacks? was that 747 got locked down. Like, they need the co ops damage on top of an RP like that. If 747 was there instead of the PA, they might have been able oh, to that's up. That's game over. Yeah. Okay, looks like both these guys are going to step back again. We haven't really seen teams try this hard uh, in these qualifiers. So this is like a good match. They're just not yes, trying that hard. No one has been trying. There's that. not enough on the line they're with these qualifiers. They don't so. give a shit. Both, most teams are just, they're Europeans. They don't care. No, these they have an American, 747. Oh, okay, well, they, they care. That's what's helping. Mm. Chevron for Chevron. Oh, Mr. Dong, but... Hello, Eric. Their, their life is difficult now, though, because they didn't get that Aegis, so it was a very fortunate time for Secret that that was available for them to take. Mm. And uh, they don't have buybacks on the Dire. They, okay, they just got it on 747. They're starting to pick them up now. We're getting there. They get, they're pretty fast at farming, so now they're only missing the Nyx. And now they can pressure again. But they're smoked up. Quop reveals it. They're going to try to bait around the Queen of Pain. Secret may be starting to move this way, but feels perhaps a bit obvious. Maybe they'll smoke themselves, look for some kind of sneaky wraparound play. This could be some smoke on smoke action. Yeah, uh, their Aegis is bottom, so I don't think they're just... That's what makes it crafty, Trent. They'd be very crafty. Unexpected. Wildly crafty. Uh-oh. Puppy. Frost Troll has they been actually... located. Look out for Frost Troll, please! Whew! Get out of there, buddy. Uh, sentry. So the <laughs> Frost Troll actually gives vision around that Sentry, too. Mm -hmm. spot it. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, they really can't lose Puppy. That would be pretty bad, honestly. If they come high ground and Puppy's dead, Puppy he really slows down the siege. He's here. The Huskar is now TP'd in. This could be the fight. They drop down the sentry. If mid one walks up, he could get jumped on, but he knows better. His spider senses tingle. Jeez. That was very close. Wants to the him end to jump game. on him. <laughs> well, I think it's like he kind of wants it, so he didn't like commit too far. In case he like he does. It's like he remembered he doesn't have buyback. Like, oh fuck, guys, I cannot get initiated on like this. Oh, speaking of that, there is a solo man RP, and they're going to oh, dedicate my. everything to taking wow. him out. But they know he doesn't have buyback, dude. That is the perfect catch. Hesta Joe again oh, in the clutch. No. All right, it's over. <laughs> Cross <laughs> Ogre is dead. No. I don't know. I think they still need all those tools to fight. I'm not sure if solo RP is enough. No, there. Well, we're about to find out. There's your RP right there in the. Uh... Oh, the bounce! That was so unlucky. What? All right, he must have been getting cheese. He cheese. But 747 will still fall. MP very low. He's starting to do a lot of damage here. They need a little more pure. Rise from the low ground. He doesn't get the auto attack. Oh. But now Ace jumps in, Armless. trying to finish him. The Armless. armor, the shrine. He's got the Aegis. The break on PA. She's dying fast. PA's down. Rise isn't going to be able to live either. MP, he's still Armless. doing it. It's the hold that Secret needed. They're still in this game with an ultra kill on the Huskar. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Armlet, baby! Yeah. He was so low so okay. many Okay, okay, that... Armlet and Shrine. Shrine. That was okay. a clutch Shrine. The Shrine as well, I mean, he still ages too, but the fact that that, that bounced, like, even this BKB, it still hits you. Like, it still targets yes, you as a little. it should have still bounced. That was so like, ridiculously unlucky. It's insane. It's like, we've got to try it right here. It's like, we're yeah. going this way. <laughs> See you, dude. But I, I really don't think Solo RP was the play. They spent everything on this Viper, and it's like, okay. Like, that's literally been the whole game plan that's worked for Seekers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, Mr. Zayori here said it was the perfect Yeah, thing. it was stupid. It was the perfect I thing. hated it. Really? Yeah. Like, what was the... I don't know. I, the, you saw what happened. No, the idea of the Viper being... To go for that solo RP on the Viper? I think oh. that was terrible. Well... He did not have a buyback. He still does not so, have So, Trent, do you <laughs> think I, I mean, obviously, it was a moment of opportunity. I'm not flaming the players. I'm just no, saying no. that hey, in terms hey, of hey, how... Hey, hey. I think that was the perfect setup. I don't setup. want that we to be up the there. <laughs> That's not No, that, that was the perfect what? setup, and then they threw it away. It wasn't obvious. How is it the perfect setup? 
I because just don't agree. They they just isolated a dude without buyback. It's 4v5. They needed to not get caught with yeah, a two-hero chrono. Yeah, but it's a Viper. Oh, well, yeah. It's a, it's a Viper. That's, he does he's doing a shitload of damage. What do you mean it's a Viper? Well, because when the two-man chrono comes out, the follow-up right, right, has to Joe is what's been We're good. We're pushing mid. We're taking a all Rax right. right now from Team Secret, who's been behind, and they are going to double Rax. Here we go. Queen of Pain is down for 30 seconds, and no she hasn't bought back yet. She already bought back once. Uh, this game is actually super tense. This is going to be two lanes of barracks to one. Obviously, the Dyer's still in it here. The Danish Bears pop the glyph. Oh. Kezu, he catches two again. BKB from Ace, not going to do enough. They obliterate Noya. Ace, probably not going to go in now. He has no magic immunity. They're going to have to sacrifice the barracks. There we go. Two barracks down, and what a, uh, what a perfect play there. Centaur is down, I repeat. No. Centaur is down. No one gives a shit about Centaur. <laughs> How dare you. It's the Frost Troll That's mate. true. You're right. I'm sorry. Where Where is he, by the way? Has Puppy picked another creep yet? No, he just he just lost his Centaur. He's on the hunt right now. I tried now. to tell you. Oh, sorry. I thought you were saying that was a Rise Centaur. I apologize. Ah, I see. Mm. There have been several Centaurs this game. He's just like, uh, what about here? Troll? He's like, mm, Are you yeah, a frost troll? No. <laughs> You'll have to do for now. Go uh -huh. find me a frost find ogre, mate. Find a frost troll now! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at this gold graph. It's all over this. It's like a little water trough. Wow. That looks like a, a rock structure. <laughs> a valley. Oh, those look like some rocks. <laughs> wow, where's Annie when you need her? <laughs> no one. Get away. I think he she's sleeping. I think she's sleeping. That's a lot of buybacks. I think we can change back to net worth. We have, we have all buybacks. Let's okay. let's give the people what they need. All right. All right. Oh, that's perfect line. Patience from Joe. Patience from Joe. Love it. If only we were clever and thought of it. Mm -hmm. Guys, he almost has the pressure. You ready to yeah. see nasty Joe Rotten get even nastier? So it's a good thing he didn't buy that BKB because he is, again, much closer to this pressure than he would be without it. The Yule Scepter is just his mini defensive item. Viper's getting smart. Those value tomes. And it uh, looks like a couple Hyperstones coming out on PA. That's going to be Moon Shard. All right, well, we have seen how this team can come through. Danish Bears just needs those RPs again. Maybe not the solo Viper, but I'd rather not get back into that debate. So, <laughs> <laughs> it was a great play. A <laughs> I swear, it's sir. The greatest play. We're going to have a full podcast episode on it. That's all we're going to talk about. We should all do right. a purge episode like that. Just break it down, watch it in slow Oh, there's motion. a creep battle in the Roche pit. Oh, shit. Uh, he ran away. And he died. It's like battle bots. If you run away, oh, he found it. I was going to say, oh, oh okay, this is good. The cat. Yeah. Got the wolf. He's, he's changing it up here. This is what everybody wants. Everybody goes for the wolf. Alpha wolf. Everyone it's except usually puppy, but this time, the wolf. Mm -hmm. So, incarnate. this game's essentially just even, really, like in terms of the gold, in terms of the, the waves. Two racks to one doesn't really matter at this point in the game with the wave clear heroes they have. Um, Oh, has 747 stopped going Mjolnir fully? Is he committing into the oh, yeah. BKB? Doink. Yes. There's nothing on Courier either, right? Because he bought back, so yeah. I think that's just all of his gold. It that's looks interesting. Like I mean, the BKB is pretty safe. Viper still does a shitload of damage. Sand King does a lot of damage. There's a lot that BKB mitigates here. Tide is money. Dang, here we are again. Waiting for the opportunity to rise up. What do they need to be able to push? Are they waiting for another Roche? It's going to farm up. Everybody seems as big as they can get. Dude, everybody's scared right now. Dude, are you ready to watch Chat go insane when this eight, when this uh, Huskar thing happens? Yeah. Oh, five minutes ago. Because that was pretty hype. I, I remember have to say. When that happened. I remember. <laughs> hey guys, look, there's an Orchid on Void now. A lot of Orchid malevolence this game. I and then he's going refresher too. A lot of people gotta shut up. They need to get a uh, silencer on Team Secret. So global silence is getting built up here. The entirety of every single hero. Cow King. Oh, so much stress right now. It's all on Magnus and this Faceless is Void. So scary. Kezu's been on fire lately. Hesse Joe had it for a bit, but now Kezu with those two double chronos it, helps secure the second rack. This is too. literally exactly what you would expect of a game like this. It's the two top teams in the group are 55 minutes in, both of them missing some barracks. Whoever wins the next fight is going to do some pretty crippling damage. There's still this tier two they have to push through, oh! so it could be for the win. And now both teams thinking about some schmalkin. Yep. Mid lane, secret. They are invisible, looking uh -oh. for an opening. Uh oh, who's that? Who's that yellow? Oh, oh no. no, not that one. Oh, That's the one you don't no. want. It's there we PA. go. Could it be the pick? We do see the silence and the naughty Joe rotten double. But no one hit the shrine. Too late the shrine. You're too late, Joe. 
Oh, oh no. no. It's a disaster. Chrono Spear locks down the Silencer. Yeah, not the best out. Chrono, oh, but it's no. all they needed. That is not Secret. Magnus. That's a dead centaur, guys. Don't panic. All right, all right, he did Magnus, make it back home. Magnus but up top. He does make a, have a refresh. He's got yep. another RP. We do have a buyback from PA, so this Ooh. story might not be over yet. The game is not though. over, but that is brutal. So that was not great. What's going to keep them in this game, though, is this Tier 2 tower. They've got to push this bottom lane or go for the win, and I don't think Secret goes for the win here. So they're just going to back up. Actually not going to get too much. They'll get the Shrine. That's nice. Damn, you think PA could have lived if Joe hit uh, that Shrine? It would have been close, but it been pretty freaking probably close. not. I want to say no. I mean, they still had the Chrono, right? So they could have Chronoed him. Sure. All right, well, Roshan going to be going down even worse here for the Bears. And got to say, I, I'm super impressed with Mr. Huskar. He went from getting completely trashed to uh, pretty much solo winning that last fight, and now he is clutch in these fights. Mm -hmm. we, yeah, we're Huskar aging again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make sure he's on Viper, I assume. Probably only got his slots left. Or do they give it to the Void? That could also be a hero. Hey, uh, Actually, it's being held by Yapso right now. Look at that. Zach. She's on. Okay, yeah, so one on each. They're still holding one the last He's time. He's also got the Lotus Orb. Very good against the Silencer, of course. Great item to have there. So, are we close to anything else? BKB, Quap basically has the gold for it. Nick's Assassin, not going for the Ags, looking for a Halberd. Yeah. Uh, and PA has the Satanic. I'm going to level up the Diffusal. And still has not picked up the Moon Shard, so going to be coming out pretty quick. Tough game to be this PA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially at this stage. Now that the Huskar has an MKB, you just you got to be careful. It's it's all it's all in the stuns, right? Like whoever's controlling the fight. Yeah, it's the carries I, are secondary in terms of importance. At this point, the global doesn't feel like it's been super effective because the right clicks hurt so much. But this game is on Joe. Also, in that last fight, the Shrine kind of got in his way with that RP. Yeah. They ended up on the other side of it, and the Magnus was over here, so he couldn't really follow up the way. He just, it was just awkward. Yeah. What does Sansa really do at this point in the game where he's at? I mean, he presses the R button. And now I mean, it's a pretty good air button, though, yeah, to be honest. It's a great air button. Well, it's at the point, though, where you kind of hope that he's stolen enough Dyer's int that maybe he can start attack. throwing some pure damage at the Huskar. I mean, I think that's what you really want the Silencer to be doing at and 60 minutes. It's pretty unlikely, though. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, but yeah, it's hard. Especially oh, no. full five. The tier two is down. This is their protection. The safety net is done. Yeah, now any lane pushing in is disaster for Dyer, so it's all on 747. Keep it going. Oh, speak of the devil. In comes some BOTs, level two oh MP. Oh my god, that blinked just in time. I can't believe that didn't chase him. That's so strange. We've all seen that before, like the mega leap from Huskar is when they channel yeah, it right it as like, somebody jumps. It like hit and then he was blinking. That's yeah. what it was. Probably couldn't replicate that timing if you tried. Damn. Lucky ducky. Lucky ducky indeed, Slack. Still gonna lose, but pretty lucky. Great job. He fished his wish on that one. Fished his wish? What did you just Haven't say? you played Go Fish? What? Who says fish their wish? Fish their wish. That's what it's called. You, you play Go about? Fish, and you get you say, like, I want this one, then you pick it out of the, of the pile. You know? Oh, and you fished out your wish. Yeah, you fish your wish. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Chinese magical uh, genie fish. You know, no, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and here we go again. Well, mid when you catch a fish and then it comes on the boat and says, if you spare me, I'll give you wishes. Oh, yes. That lore. That lore. <laughs> All right. Fidget Spinner is out and he's out of there. Does anyone else notice that on the TPs? The Fidget Spinners on the boat? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Some, some real memers at Valve, guys. You're right. Real memers. Right. The hell? Look, at, look at this Lich build, dude. He's just going for the good items. I love it. They've yep. got nothing yeah. to do with Lich. It's just great utility. And brown boots, my favorite addition. Best item in the game, Slack. Hell yeah, boy. Besides Iron Branch, if you're a fucking stats idiot like Purge. Hey guys, Iron Branch is the greatest item. It costs $50. I buy one every game in a magic stick. That was great. <laughs> that was really accurate. Thank you. Oh. Okay, so he's just looking towards the Bloodthorn. Refresher. Mm, beautiful. Mm. We've got a stalemate on our hands and here, the, boys. Yeah. I don't think we do. I think we got Secret pushing in bot, and they're about to win this game. <laughs> That's... Have you lost faith in Hesta Joe's This life? is still... A, well, yeah. It, it is pretty The pretty dream tough. of Hesta Joe has been realized 
three times in this game. They have had some pretty great rack going on right now. And, and oh. again, they're they're forcing them back. Can they get a pick on purple mid? Lich? Oh, Lich. Oh, my God. If they lose Puppy, this game's over. Who's He's under vision right now. Troll? He's all right. He's all right. Oh, he actually sees their ward now, uh, he's too. He's got the alpha the wolf's right killing now. it. Aha. Aha. Oh, that was a dire wolf. Oh, nice. Uh huh? Nice place. There's a mud golem running around, too. Look out. He's got a rock. Oh, <laughs> he throws geez. it. Okay, there we go. Another initiation on PA, but she is not as jumped on Jesse as she Joe's was last waiting. Time. Look at the spacing there from Secret. Go. Nice. Spike character slowing things down for the team. And a chrono oh, on two. Bear, look at that shit. That is an unbelievable chrono. Their freaking pinky toes were in it. Not this time, buddy. Blink away. There double chrono. That's the game. They still have buybacks. It's not totally over, but not getting the Aegis in that fight is very bad My for the Dire. God, did you guys see that, yeah, that pinky was, toe chrono? That really was just perfect. Silencer's like, shoulder was in it. Dude, Hested Joe just gave up. Like, he was sitting there, he was moving back and forth. They, there was no anything. opening. Yeah. There was actually no opening. He's for too the scared to solo RP again. And That is also the dream for revealing the uh, that, Oh, that's the Aegis. Voice. It is gone. So they found the fight before it was is there. So he can yeah. solo RP the Huskar. Oh, Gets two. RP on two. The follow-up damage from Ace is Woo! big. There's the quap in the back, but now Yapsor oh, comes they in kill with Epicenter. They might still be able to oh, do this. this. Oh, no. Has to go. Oh. It was a oh, pump canceled. fake, but he dies. Right. He buys back now. He still has the RP. Stuns coming up plenty, but the die are running out of resources. Using every buyback they can, but Quap, there's the follow-up RP on two. Watch the out. skewer forward. MP is still alive. They cannot kill him. The buyback now from Ace. MP needs to die here. If they want to have a chance, they pop the shrine. But this Huskar still alive. He's going to start turning. He's dropping hammers from the sky. He gets slow. He gets killed. It's mid one that's left alive alongside Yapstore. Stun on three, but they're trying to retreat. Mid one will not be able to escape. Ace jumps forward oh, that's through it. the Lotus, and they get another one. There's four down on secret. They don't have buybacks oh on three. I've actually never seen a Magnus cancel RP that late twice in a row. That was Holy insane. I, 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 thought, thought he did. I thought for sure he did, he did it twice. twice. Then it's still this little green diamond. I'm just like, what? Oh, holy, holy shit. shit. How long do we have until they won. Uh, Lichol? It's over. Lichol. It's up. <coughs> don't, nope. don't say it. Dude, it's over. dude. You got a face. It's over. Void. Look at the, they, they know Void they all just bought back. Void can buy back. He's got 10 seconds. If they somehow what? biff this and Void buys back, Chronos on top of the chain frost it and they happen. die, they don't have buybacks either. Oh, Lich is the only one with the that, goddamn buyback. Dude, is that PA DD'd, guys? Careful. Can we just can confirm? Oh my god, oh my he god. is DD'd. But chain frost, two, they're doing three, it. The bounces one. are there. Yes! They kill Ace! The now they game. might still be able to do it! Heston Joey's on the run! They're gonna hold! <laughs> the They're gonna hold! They Get biffed the it, Trent! They yes, biffed it! The stuns! Oh, oh Rice, Rice no! Rice trying to make his way out! Get out of there, Rice! He's got the, the global! Silence, okay? He's okay, he's okay for now, but he doesn't have a lot of time left on this silence! Oh, Mr. Joe going back in! They still know there's no one else on the team! It's up to Kezu! He's gonna jump in! And he, Oh, no! That's the nice, Joe. Nice Manta. There we go. There we go. Slowing things down from the Nyx Assassin. He's trying to slow him down, but he wants that Magnus so bad he's not going to be able to get it. And oh. everybody... Wait a minute. Magnus, Joe, what are you doing? Sneaky Joe going back in looking for some pick, and it's maybe a little too risky. Uh-oh. He knows he's about to be silenced here. Do they have Dude, any kind of Dude, unbelievable. Detection? That's crazy. Yeah. Wrong kind of detection, barely misses him, and there we go. Oh, they really oh. wanted him. Oh, meanwhile in the base, 747 yes. going for the bitch. tier fours. Lich gets the armor on, that's going to slow him down, but he does get the tier four tower. Let's see if he can get out here. Maybe they can still bait this Huskar up in about eight seconds. On, they need Huskar. to be a little bit careful. Maybe on, they can Huskar. just oh, hit they're, the throne. They're They've got the assault cross. That's the glyph. Oh, Come on, shit. Huskar. Huskar's in. Oh, no. The stun. Oh, oh. And Mr. Joe with a double. Huskar's got to move right now, and it's a chrono on the back. Here we go. The Lich out. Will it bounce correctly? And it will. They are in there. They are dying, and they have held the oh, impossible. No. Trent did not believe it, but I never lost faith. GG is called. They fucking did it. They call it. Secret. Unbelievable. What? Yo, two heroes. The game is never over with a faceless void. That's, Man, that's so impressive. There's a great highlight video of Trent there saying, It's impossible. It's <laughs> over. And somehow, some way,